uh, dearest and most beloved divine friends and family, brothers and sisters, in Guyana, Archives, Guyana, Free Media, in the raw. I give my praise to my Lord and my God and of the various religions, all of which I all hold in high standard caliber and dignity. Brothers and sisters, friends and family, um, we have all seen where well, the new government has taken power. Today is a very great day in the history of Guyana. The Secretary of State of the United States of America, the world power, has arrived in Guyana. I'm, I'm, I give it an applause. I'm happy and I'm proud of this decision to visit Guyana and to build a partnership with Guyana. Guyana no, no, will no longer be an ordinary country. And bearing that in mind, we can understand why the previous government did all that they did to try to maintain power. Caused uh, uh, millions upon millions upon millions of dollars to be wasted, in many cases uh, taxpayer dollars, which we will know later on as the new government um, tried to put these things in place and make sure if monies were wasted that they will have to be replaced. In fairness, it's your money, it's my money, it's taxpayers' dollars. And I have no political priority, but I just want what is right. And that's why I'm standing for this government right now, that they be successful as I was standing for the APNO AFC when they won the election. I supported them and gave them all my support. And this is what I'm doing with this government. I will always support the government of the day, and I will always critique them for whatever is wrong. Please remember to wear your masks, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there are different kinds. Don't forget also to sanitize. Um, it is strikingly getting heavy in Guyana. Uh, dangerous and uh, people are just not, not not cooperating they're not showing no respect um, for the laws and the rules and I think people need to be arrested and they need to build some stockade and when people do these things like at the sea wall you pass and you see them at events and places they need to be charged and they need to be stockaded for a couple of days and uh, so that they will learn the, the importance of, of, of trying not to infect others we saw what happened at Parliament we had, we, had, we had two guys who have was COVID-19, which is Christopher Jones and um, and um, Cheryl Duncan. And they went in there, they didn't tell anybody. They mingled, they chit-chat, and they gave several other, uh, unfortunately, the ministers of this of, of, of the new government, the COVID-19, and could have killed the people. They had people who have it knowingly, just like AIDS, I believe they need to be charged when they try to have relationships with those who have AIDS, and they pass it on to people that need to be charged for manslaughter or attempted murder. The same thing with COVID-19, like how um, Christopher Jones and Sheriff Duncan uh, went into Parliament knowing that they have it. And they could have stayed away. They could have stayed away and don't inconvenience anybody, say that I'm COVID-19 positive, but then cause several other persons in the government to get COVID-19 positive as well. This is very unfair and wrong. It goes not only for... Sheriff Duncan, but because their name is popular, and um, Christopher Jones, it goes for anybody. If the people from the government have it, and then they don't talk and isolate themselves, then they also should be charged for attempted murder. You know, for attempted murder, because this is a serious matter. COVID-19 could kill, and it's killed so many people globally, and so many people in Guyana. So just be careful, ladies and gentlemen, that's my introduction as we move on now to the topic at hand. Yesterday's newspaper on September 16th, Wednesday, 2020. The Guyanese James Bond is like Al Pacino in that movie. You can like a movie or a song that was, was no big hit, but you still think it is one of the best movies or songs from a particular artist. Now this is his introduction as he gets into the, into the meat grinding. He's giving us a little philosophy and a little reality that Freddie Kisun is. Al Pacino has some phenomenal films. And the one I think I like best is not even rated. It is so low. It is not rated, even though he's one of the best of actors. And the title is The People I Know. It is a psychological thriller whose a theme is that we really don't know the people we think we know. We don't know the people we think we know, so we're going to easily begin to get to the meat. Remember, this is the Kaicho News of, and this is recording, today the 17th, this is of the, the 16th Wednesday. So we really don't know 
the people that we think we know. And remember, this is in the raw, ladies and gentlemen, so it's not the typical edited version of fancy style and dress and talk and so on. It is a psychological thriller. Okay, back to the article. We in this country had a glorious opportunity in seeing for ourselves those in action whom we thought before March 1st we knew closely. Before March 1st, we thought we knew them. Before, before March 4th, we thought we knew them closely. We thought. Back to the article. In the movie, Al Pacino didn't live. The people he thought he knew up close and personal murdered him. Wow. I have cases. Family. Very close. Some friends too, so-called. And family that they hate you so much, jealousy mostly, that they would murder you. Your skill, your talents, and so on. When, you know, ladies and gentlemen, when you put out a thought of hate, I keep on saying this, a lot of people don't understand, and you put out hate against another child that is not yours, or jealousies. Whatever was due for your own children is taken away from them so that you, the parents, suffer, and it goes to that child that you envy or you hate. Same thing. If you have a relative or a brother that you hate, or some family, or you envy, if you don't admire them and give them the credit, your talents will be taken away and given to him. And sometimes that person has so much talents, he himself wants to know where the talents come from. Back to, to the article. So Al Pacino was murdered, and I know I, some, some people, there was a, a name called Roshan Khan, that was published in a newspaper and was some other man named Roshan Khan was caught up in some some criminal activity in Guyana or somewhere publishing the papers in Canada and uh, a relative of mine I tell you uh, even a blood relative of mine said he was boasting that I'm always see how I'm honest and how I try to live a good life and so on and here I went and involved and I got involved with this crime and I'm gone to jail instead of being sorry for me and wishing it was not true or finding out he was actually happy. Your family, at times, could be your worst enemy. Don't forget that. If you want to start a business, don't tell some of your family. They will tell you it won't work. It can't work. It is ridiculous. It will. It will not be possible. We had five months to learn about the deceptions of the people we know, so at least our fate will not be like Al Pacino in that movie. A politician like James Bond, you know, James Bond was a guy I really liked, you know, and, he, and, and he's moving forward. So after all that happened and so on, and then he spoke against what was transpired in, in, uh, that, that affected him, and particularly um, the, the chairman of the PNC in Georgetown started to realize the guy is okay but then he gone again and then he started to attack me for something ridiculous not even thinking of a man of law of the sense I was making of the sense I was making so I'm not gonna fight him I'm not gonna embarrass him I'm not gonna attack anybody but I'm just stating the case so he's talking now Freddie Kisun a politician like James Bond you will find hard to put him on top of your list as one of your favorites. He was quite active during the election impasse, hitting the national limelight with some weird actions and behavior. That's true, I'm adding that. He said weird actions, I'm saying weird behavior, and um, you know, the way he was going on and his life thing, and some or the other, he seemed to like it and think it was doing him good, but I think his politically, political career is wiped out. He was quite active during, right, um, hitting the national limelight with some weird actions. He hired a lorry going all over Georgetown, announcing the afternoon in the FC victory. Why would you do that and hurt people's feelings? To rile people, you know that they lost. He knew. But he was doing that to create a state of war. People like Bond, we tend to put lower down on our list, while others like Raphael Trotman, maybe way at the top. Even Raphael Trotman will be at, 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 on top of him, according to Freddie Kisun. Back to the article. 
it has to do with how we judge people. We avoid argumentative folks. We like those who appear cultivated and mannerly, yes. That is a dangerous mistake humans have been making since time immemorial. Me too. A human must at all times and always be judged by what he, she is essentially made of. Give me a James Bond any day over a Raphael Trotman. Oh, I get his point. Raphael is more sinister, calculated, manipulative. I think he's coming to that. But you know, this man here is talking out straight what he's doing. Okay, okay, okay. Give me a James Bond any day over a Raphael Trotman. Bond is demonstrative and hardly appears as the quiet type. But the quiet type can be dangerously deceiving. I made that point just now. The quiet type. My mother used to say about one of her children, quiet snake does bite hot. He's eat like a Pashuma snake. And one, two times, even in old, her old age, she would turn and say, did I tell you he was like a snake? He was a Pashuma? Anyhow, this is some of the realities. I love all my brothers. But sometimes you have your children and so on, and you can look at, and you can assess them as we do others as well. The, David Granger and Joe Harmon went to Region 5 and instigated violence that was senseless and deadly given the COVID-19 pandemic of which Guyana is one of the worst hit countries per capita speaking. Given how we judge our fellow humans, majority of Guyanese expected someone like James, like Bond, to head to Region 5 and explore the most violent vocabulary he could find. He didn't do that. So, I want to get to this man analysis. He didn't do that. Granger, the grandfather figure that the society touted as the most incorruptible politician on the land, went to Region 5 and birthed an advocacy of violence. It was Granger we least expected to do that. It was Bond who we thought would have descended to those levels. On the contrary, Bond appealed for calm and spoke out against the violence of those who were marading in Region 5. So we got to give Bond some credit here. Parents always leave philosophical messages with their children. I just told you. That is what we as older folks do long before she grew up into a fully grown woman. I would sermonize my daughter with the wisdom of judging people by mundane acts of loud speaking or an argumentative mentality look at their psychological essence if they have any i chose this topic freddie kisone is saying remember this is not my article ladies and gentlemen but because i read these articles mr Harmon think this is my article uh, and, and 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 turning me into an enemy and, 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 and trying to get his supporters to hate me. And unfortunately, some of them listen to the guy. <laughs> I chose this topic on James Bond after I saw what Karen D'Souza, Dr. Elisa Trotz, Mike McCormack of the Guyana Human Rights Association wrote a few days ago. How do we stack up Bond against these names mentioned here? Trotz, D'Souza, and McCormack were egregiously silent when Claremont Mingo announced the result of a general election of modern, of a modern Caribbean country by using a projector, a piece of cardboard, and a soiled bedsheet to publish the tabulations. And he went so fast that the naked eyes could not see what he was doing. And he's saying that these people, surprisingly, because he had liked them, I, I, I saw some previous articles by him, that they would do something like that. The chief elections officer displayed six different election re results. That depraved descent into treason did not bother Red Thread, the GRE, and the people like Dr. Trotz. But guess what their priorities are? The American Secretary of State is coming to Guyana tomorrow. And that is an obsession with them because the U.S. may jeopardize Guyana's sovereignty. <laughs> <coughs> the U.S. would interfere with our sovereignty. Let's see. 
what is sovereignty? Obviously, it means different things to different people. If citizens cannot vote for the politicians they would like to see rule them, why then do Trotz and McCormack think Guyana sovereignty means anything to them? So let's end with our subject. James Bond, can you extract more with our subject, James Bond, can we extract more rational? Can we extract more rationality from him than they say, a Dr. Trotz and the current D'Souza? Is it possible that Bond is a Christmas blow blow? But the minds we should be careful about are people like Trotz and D'Souza. In order to say, don't worry with James Bond. He's harmless and he's a Christmas blow blow. And you remember he was going around saying blow blow blow. I think James Bond still has what it takes to be a scholarly attorney and a political leader, if not in a new party, at least in time within the People's National Congress. I think he has damaged himself. I had told him I'd seen him as a leader, but the people did not give him the leadership because they wanted obviously to wait and see for him to mature what he became. So Pompeo, the Secretary of State is coming. What is he coming for? Well, we know for sure, not to help rig the guy in elections. He helped to stop the rigging. That is sovereignty for you. Mike Pompeo helped to stop the rigging and that is sovereignty for you according to Mr. Freddy Kisou. So let's think on this and my appeal to Mr. Harmon is stop spreading the hate man. Mr. Granger, you did bad in the East Coast or, or, or in West Coast Bobbies. You did bad, you made a mistake man. You made a mistake and then for you all to say that their response, which was the beating, the killing, the chopping, the murders, the burning, the looting, the arsons, were wrong, the rapes, and fill up of women. The people are not saying anything about that because these people don't want their names to go down in public. So the two rapes, they were rapes. Friends and family, your friend, your brother, let us work together for love with me and you, people of all races, people of all religions. We are all one people. And yes, there will always be political difference. I was always apolitical. But because I spoke out what I saw, and the count, and the manipulation and the, tricky, the trickery was going on with the recount, and I gave certain readings, I have been branded. So they made me appear as if at that time I was pro-opposition PPPC, and now, anti-opposition up to AFC. Well, I'm not anti-anything. I'm just a commentator. And I'm a lover of Guyana. And I love all races, all peoples. If you are in Guyana and you do not love all peoples, it means you are an evil, a maniac, a liar, and a very deceitful person that's bad for Guyana. Guyana, we have to depend upon each other and protect each other. Precisely why I said, if you're under, if, and this was for the Indians who were being beaten and mauled at that time, raped and molested and burnt and arsonized. If you feel Indians of the West Coast, form a protection group, equip yourself with a baton or a piece of stick, a piece of stick or a baton, protect your minorities, always you, wherever you are, protect the minorities in your communities. That is the hallmark of witness. And never be an aggressor. So even if things happen to you, stay in your community, stay in your compound. Do not have anything else than a baton, which is legally approved for policing groups and personnel in security, and a piece of stick, which is also legally approved. Because you really can't hurt anybody much with that. And just use that to create a fear. And we know that policing groups, they all want guns and they want handcuffs and they want vehicles and so on. I say you don't need all of that. You don't need all of that. You need good information system and you need just a button and a, and, and a piece of stick. Why do you need all these guns? Have you ever seen all these guns that the policing groups have? Have they ever used it? 
It just makes them feel good and some of them steal the gun to go and do hunting. <laughs> I'm here to support order, peace, goodwill and love and any community now. So after that got out, then I said Guyanese in general because the message got out to them. So I'm speaking now to Guyanese in general to do the same thing. And I asked a, a, a pro um, PNC pandit, what is wrong with it? He said, well, maybe you should have put Guyanese, but I said, who are being beaten? Who are being targeted? Who are being burnt? Who are being raped? Who are being killed? Who are being arsoned? Who vehicle was burnt? Whose party was being stolen? Whose money and bag and so on? He said, Indians. I said, okay, so I'm talking to the Indians. Keep the cool. Protect your minorities. Put up a defensive system. Not even defense, it's a protection. And don't have not more than a button on a stick. And he said, yes, okay, true. So friends and families, what do you want? So what I think Harmon was trying to do was to turn the tide out of him and his leader and put it on me so the pressure would not be on him. And then they, pay, they have their they pay trolls and their unpaid supporters that go on and regurgitate the same thing over and over and over. Friends and family, your brother, me, Hachi, Dr. Roshan Khan, saying, work for peace. Harmon, leader of the opposition, create the atmosphere so that the government will feel comfortable to want to make constitutional change. So they will feel comfortable to sit with you. You can't say you will destroy the government and accept, expect them to invite you to become partners in governance or create a system that will give you more power to destroy them. Whoever is your advisor is advising you wrong. Take my humble advice. I'm not your enemy, Mr. Harmon. Some people saying blast you down and curse you. No, 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 Mr. Harmon. I'm not that, that kind. That is most like you know who. But I don't do things like that. I believe in love and harmony and that in Guyana we truly need each other to make this country an example and a glory in the world. Your friend, your brother, me, Haji Dr. Roshikan, say thank you and farewell.